Music can be very beneficial in so many people's lives. And joining me now is Indigo. She's the founder of My Music Matters. Hello, Indigo. Hi. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming on our show today. Of course. So first thing, tell us what is My Music Matters? Yes, yeah, so My Music Matters is an organization that is run by me and a wonderful team. And what we do is maximize, high, highlighting and maximizing artistic individuals in the Great Lakes Bay area. There's a ton of talent in Saginaw and Bay City and Midland and we just want to give those people an opportunity per to perform and to make sure that they have the resources to do so. Yeah, why do you think that's so important? Because there's, like you said, there's so much talent here in the area. Yes, so as a musician myself, mm -hmm. I love to perform. I love opportunities too and I noticed that it's really hard to break into the music industry mm -hmm. as it is and the fact that I had to work so hard to do so, I just want to make sure that other people have the same opportunities if not more and if I can provide that that is a that's a goal of mine. Yeah. So tell us more about yourself. How did you get into music and what's your specialty? Oh, I have, like I said, I've always been a part of music. I've been playing the piano since I was four, um, singing since my mom told me to, and <laughs> <laughs> found out that I was really good at it. And then I actually went to school for music at Saginaw Valley State. And it's just been a passion of mine. It has got me through some really tough times and I've always wanted to be somebody who can inspire somebody the way that the music that I listen to inspired me. Yeah. What's that feeling like when you're playing the piano or when you're singing? It, I'm just in my own world. <laughs> I know that my siblings and my mom and my dad have gotten very tired over the years just hearing me plunk out and just harp over getting the piece just right. And why do you think your organization is even more important? Because not everybody has those parents to foster that sense of music. I've always said, be who you wanted to be when you were younger. And I know that's so cheesy and everybody says that, <laughs> but I, I, it really strikes a chord with me because there were some times where I couldn't express how I felt, mm -hmm. and there were some times and situations where I felt very alone, yeah. but there was always a song that could relate to how I felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you said you celebrated the one-year anniversary of your organization? Yes, we did. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what are your future goals? Well, I would absolutely love to be to have this organization become statewide and then, you know, shooting for the long goal, nationwide, having local chapters in specific areas where music can thrive. Now, do you wish there was an organization back around when you were getting started? Oh, man, I would capitalize. <laughs> it would be phenomenal if I had this organization around when I was younger, but it wasn't, and that's okay because I did have other experiences as well, but I think that I took some of the ideas of the competitions that I was a part of when I was younger, um, the organizations that are still around today um, where youth outreach was a very big priority for them. And I just kind of pieced together a vision for myself, which yeah. is kind of awesome that those things were around so I could put my vision into place.